Good morning everyone. This is Doc Training Web Series. My name is Sajin and I work for Doc365 Incorporated. We are SharePoint experts based in Florida. Today I'll be demonstrating the capability of Microsoft Flow integration with Dynamics 365 with SharePoint Online. So I hope you've watched my previous videos on um, integration with OneDrive for business with SharePoint. So in the coming days, I'll be coming up with more and more videos based on Microsoft Flow. So let's go ahead and let's get started, right? So this is Microsoft Flow environment. So I've logged in with my Microsoft credentials. So what you can do is you can look for templates. So as per today's video, what I'm trying to achieve is to create a SharePoint item based on a Dynamics 365 record. So what you can do is you can search for Dynamics 365 in your search bar and you're gonna get a lot of templates based out of Dynamics with other interfaces as well. So right now for today, I'm gonna demonstrate how to create an item based on the Dynamics 365 record. So click on that. Now the first scenario is when a record is created in Dynamics CRM, what happens next is a workflow has been triggered. It actually creates an item in your SharePoint list in your SharePoint online environment. So I'm going to take a scenario where I have my, okay, by the way, this is my Dynamics 365 environment, basically which caters the service sales and marketing modules. So let's say I need to transfer one of the new contacts to my SharePoint list. This is what I really want to achieve. So what I do is when a record is created, so you need to define your organization name. So what happens is when you create a new flow, what a new flow, basically you'll be asked to log in with your Microsoft credentials. And please note that if you are not a Dynamics 365 subscriber, it's not going to work. So make sure that you have Dynamics 365 install in your Office 365. You can check it with your SharePoint or your Office 365 administrator. So once that's been configured and when you get into this process flow, what happens, it asks you for an organization name and when you click on the drop down, you get your organization name, select that. And after selecting that, the next stage is to select the entity. So the next thing, what you need to do is click on the drop down bar and then select for there are a lot of items that you can select. So what I'm going to do for today's video is I'm going to transfer the contacts, the new contacts to my SharePoint list. So select contacts. So what happens next, right? So the next stage is it has to create an item in your SharePoint list. So what I need to do is I take the URL, I copy the URL of my SharePoint instance. I paste it over here. And the next thing is it asks me to define the list name. So what I do is I click on the drop down again and then what I need to transfer the contacts, right? So what you have done is I have a sales module on top of my SharePoint. So we have a turnkey or we have a SharePoint dedicated product called doc, which has different departments. So this is doc, what you're seeing on the screen right now. So we have created a ready to go intranet portal based out of SharePoint online, where it has department portals like sales, finance, HR, IT, training, marketing, and we also have an e-store, right? So it can always cater your e-commerce purposes as well. So I'm taking an example of contacts from my sales module. So this is my SharePoint list basically. So these are my contacts. So what I need to achieve here is once I add a new contact, it has to go and fall on my SharePoint list, right? So I select on contacts, that's the list. And the next thing what you need to do is define each components based out which, which are the fields that you need to map between your Dynamics 365 uh, and your SharePoint online. So the first thing is, this is the first name, first name, last name, job title, email, mobile phone number, and phone number. So what I go ahead and I search for first name and it shows over here, right? So I just have to click here and then I can populate all the mapped fields that I require. I mean, the information that needs to be flow, uh, it has to flow from my Dynamics 365 contact to my SharePoint contact list. So I go ahead and define all these and then I click on 
Okay, now here it says update flow because I've taken an existing item. It says create a new flow and your flow was created and to close, click done. So click here and that's it. Then your new flow is starts running. So this is what we created right now. Create a SharePoint item based on Dynamics 365 record. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to my Dynamics 365 environment. I go to sales. I go to contacts. Okay. And the next thing is I need to create a new item. Here you go. So this is the new contact field in uh, Dynamics 365. I'm going to go ahead and enter those details. So the first name. First name is John and uh, the last name is Balt. And the job title would be Director of Purchases. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter an email ID. And just put a phone number. Right, I think that's good to go. And then I'm going to save this. Here you go. So I have created this item. That's um, the contact basically. That's John Bolt. And I have all these details. Just give it some time so that it, it actually starts processing that flow and it actually goes to my SharePoint list. So this is my SharePoint list, the contact list basically. So this is where I'll be tracking all my records. So as you see here, I've been entering this from my Dynamics CRM. It actually gets auto-populated over here. I'm just gonna refresh it a bit. Here you go. So I have my new record that's been, uh, that's been created in the SharePoint list. So I have John Bolt, that's what I created in my Dynamics 365, it's actually been populated over here. This is John Bold, the director of purchases, I have the email, the phone numbers. This is all there. So this is what I really wanted to achieve. And um, that's that's the end of this video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll be coming up with more, you know, Microsoft Flow related videos in the coming days. So stay tuned and have a great day.